Hello, uh, I'm making this video a little quicker and dirtier than I usually do, uh, so if I have ums or weird breaths, that's why. Uh, this is a very simple little thing. There are these little chiclets. Uh, the production version will have a little white area here, so you don't write down stuff. But basically what they are are little passive low-pass filters and little passive high-pass fil high filters. And the idea is, one, they're a fun way to learn about electronics um, because you can kind of do some cool research. And two, you can kind of do some interesting mixing. So right now there's a uh, kick drum, which is this AI-11 um, being modulated by this envelope, which is also being uh, modulated in the VCA. And then this uh, black AI-11 is doing the bass line of a song we all like, and it's playing kind of a melodic thing. So what happens if you think that melodic thing is interfering with the kick? I know it's not really right now, but I don't want to spend a lot of time on this patch. So what I'm going to do is insert a high pass filter. One moment. So now what you have is kind of a, a band pass filter, right? Because it's going into a high pass filter, and then that's going into a uh, low pass filter. So suddenly the melody is kind of blocked on both sides, making more room, hypothetically, in the mix for a uh, bass line, which I was too lazy to program, or um, you know, getting out of the way of highs on the reverb, which I was also too lazy to do. Maybe I'll do it in post. I don't know. Um, but anyway, um, oh, I have to say, uh, don't ask me to do math. Um, I will link to a frequency calculator that you can use. Um, they only take one resistor in one capacitor to make, so it's pretty cool. And oh, put it in camera. And then there's another area here for further experimentation, um, changing the order of the pass because right now it's about a three dB per octave slope. Um, so it's a pretty gentle filter, and you kind of want to go like a little before or behind the range. Anyway, but yeah, don't ask me to do math. Um, don't be a monster. If you get a link that comes to this video saying, don't make me do math from you, uh, don't get mad at me. I'm trying to be cute. Um, but yeah, these are fun little things, and I thought, oh, maybe someone can like learn about electronics, and then maybe like you don't need EQ as much. Um, you can just kind of like broadly make little custom EQs, like uh, this gets the bass out of the way of my kick, this gets my melody out of the way of my reverb, this gets my reverb out of the way of the kick. That's, that's probably a better use for a high pass filter than I should have done. Oh well, I'm only making this one video because they're simple little things. Um, and then yeah, the production version is going to have a little white spot there, so you can sharpie down what frequency it is. Um, anyway, that's what those are. Fun. Bye. Thank you.